How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video here on Brass Bang and today we're talking about canted red dots on your rifles or if you want to call it offset red dot, whatever you want to call it. Here we have a Vortex LPVO and then alongside it we have a Hollow Sun red dot sight mounted canted off to the side with a T-Rex arms offset mount. We're going to cover this setup right here today and I'm also going to tell you why I think this is the absolute 100% hands down way to go for your rifle optic setup. Stick around for the video to find out why. You could catch me doing that for a long time because this is just way too fun. If you're looking for an optic setup for your rifle and you're trying to figure out what the best way to go is, like a red dot, LPVO, um, ACOG, whatever it may be, this is going to be the solution that covers all of your bases and makes you feel 100% confident that your setup can take on whatever it may be, whatever shit hits the fan situation that you may be trying to prepare for. So previously I made a video, I'll link that up here somewhere, where I talked about the LPVO versus the red dot with the magnifier and why I thought that specifically the LPVO is going to be the winner if you have a longer rifle, a 16 inch rifle where you're going to be engaging out to longer distances, five, 600 yards, kind of the max effective range with the five, five, six round. In the 16 inch rifle, the LPVO is going to be probably the better bet for the way to go. Then on the other hand, if you have a shorter rifle, a 10 and a half, 12 and a half inch rifle, something like that, I think the red dot with the magnifier is the best suited optic choice for that because you're going to be engaging at closer distances, two, 300 yards tops. So that red dot with the magnifier is going to get you that distance while also having a speed of acquisition that a red dot can offer you that an LPVO doesn't quite match up to. Now skip ahead. This is my setup that covers both of those options and covers all of your bases to make Make sure that you're prepared for any situation. What we have here is a Vortex LPVO mounted with your standard typical mount. Just make sure you find something that's heavy duty, going to last you a while. And then we have a T-Rex Arms offset mount for a red dot. And then mounted on that offset mount, we have a Hollow Sun red dot, or in this case, green dot, that we're using as a kind of secondary optic, but really in some cases it might be your primary optic, and we're going to get into that in just a second. What this allows you to do is have the best of both worlds. You have the LPVO that in this case it's a one to six. It's going to help you get out to farther distances to four or five hundred yards. Um, that six power is going to be enough to get you there. But we all know at the one power, these LPVOs are not quite as good and as fast as the red dots. So what this offers you is you have the red dot there for quick acquisition for those close up shots at 25, 50 yards, maybe even out to 100 yards if that's your thing. For me, I'd probably still use the LPVO at 100 yards, but it allows you to get that quick sight picture and quick target acquisition that the red dots can get you while still having the LPVO for the long range shots and the distance shots. And once again, if you really wanted to, you could just use the red dot as a secondary optic LPVO is your main optic and just change the magnification on the LPVO as needed for different shots. But where I think this setup really shines is if you keep this LPVO at six power the entire time. So you have your long range optic a hundred yards out to, I don't know, four or five, 600 yards. That's going to be covered with the LPVO. And then you have this red dot for the close up shots, the quick CQB type situations. And what I have found is it is ridiculously fast and easy to transition between the two of these. And even more importantly, if you wanted to use the red dot for those close up shots, it's just as fast, if not even sometimes maybe a little bit faster, picking up this canted red dot from the low ready. When you bring it up, it's just there every single time. And I think there's also maybe a slight benefit to having it canted where you really bury that gun in your shoulder, in your cheek, and it allows you to get a really solid firm grip on the gun where it allows you to mitigate some of that recoil and that goes a long way towards accuracy and quick follow-up shots as well. So I was out at the range earlier shooting this setup and I was testing, switching back and forth between the red dot and the LPVO. And what this offset mount allows you to do is have it on the same plane, the same focal plane as the LPVO. So all you have to do is rotate the gun and your sight picture will already be there every single time. There's no hunting, there's no looking around for it. And I think this kind of setup is going to be the best all around, shit hits the fan, whatever kind of scenario comes your way, you're prepared for it type of setup for your gun. If you want to try it out at home, I would highly recommend trying it and test it out and compare it yourself. One of the drills I was running today, where you started from the low ready, brought the gun up, using the red dot, you take two shots at 25 yards, two shots at 50 yards, and then I got down on a table to stabilize the gun and took a couple shots out at 100 yards 
with the LPVO. And I was just seeing what kind of speed and what kind of accuracy I could get out of this kind of setup. And I think it's blown every other setup I've had out of the water. And here's the real meat and potatoes of the situation. If you want to boil it down, this is the core message of what I'm trying to say. Why sacrifice the benefits that each of these optic setups would have when you only choose one? So since these both shine in separate areas, why not have both to cover both of your needs? You got the LPVO for distance and the red dot for the close-up shots. I know I've said that a million times in this video, but it's kind of the it's kind of the gist, kind of the point. This setup is going to cover all of your distances with the best optic for that situation. And you're kind of going to have a backup optic as well. If one of these were to, God forbid, break, you have another one. You have a secondary optic that you can go to if you have to in the worst case scenario. And if I'm being honest, I have to say I really enjoyed today's shooting with the canted red dot. It feels really intuitive for me. I noticed even when I just had a red dot on this setup and I was just running that, I kind of sorta of already had a little bit of a cant to the rifle, not this much, but a little bit of a cant to the side when I was shooting and that's just kind of my natural shooting position. It felt comfortable, that's just what I was doing, whether it was good or bad, that's just the way I had been doing it. And now when I pick this up and shoot with that canted red dot, it just feels really natural and really nice. And like I said, you get it buried into your shoulder and it just feels very comfortable and very clean and precise. So that is all for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, g give it a shot. Try it out. Get the mount. They're not very expensive. Throw a rad dot on there with your LPVO and see if you like it. I have a feeling, just like I did, you're going to fall in love with it. You're going to think this is the bomb.com, the new jam. You're going to love shooting with that canted red dot. And you're going to see what I mean. It really covers both bases very thoroughly. And then if you want to add in one very last pro, it looks cool. A lot of video games have popularized shooting with the canted red dot or the offset sight. Um, it looks cool and it looks badass and it looks all tactical. Um, but as I mentioned, the real important thing here is that it's actually effective and efficient. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. This is gonna be my new rifle setup. I'm rocking for a little while. Eventually I may switch out the LPVO for something a little higher end, a little more quality. This is more of just an entry level LPVO. There's nothing wrong with that, don't get me wrong. But I can definitely see myself upgrading at some point in the future. And down below in the description, I will link to this very LPVO on Amazon if you want to pick one up, uh, as well as the red dot or green dot that I'm using on this setup as well. And then the offset mount you can find on T-Rex Arms website. If you guys like this video, found it informative, interesting, entertaining, funny, I'm not that funny, but if you found it funny or any of the other things I just listed, let me know down in the comments below and leave a like on this video. If you want to see more videos like this one going forward, subscribe to the channel. We are trying to grow. We just hit 2,000. My goal by the end of the year was 10,000. We might not get there, but we're going to try for at least 5,000 by the end of the year. Maybe we'll hit 10. Who knows? But uh, for now, 5,000 is the new goal. I'm planning on doing a giveaway of some sort at 5,000 subscribers, maybe a red dot site of some sort, whatever it may be. We're going to do something cool at 5,000, definitely at 10,000. So I hope you're along for the ride and i will see you guys in the next video have a great day